What's up everybody? This is Brandon with Off the Beaten Path. Where are we today? We're here in Springfield, Ohio, checking out the Frank Lloyd Wright house, the Westcott house. So I'm here with a special guest today, my buddy, The Tool Road. He does videos just like me. Check out his videos as well. I'm also here with my buddy, Jeff. Follow me as we tour this place. Welcome back. Are you ready for an adventure? Well, follow me as we head inside the Westcott house. In this episode, we'll be exploring this house from two perspectives. One from an architecture standpoint and the other the history of the Westcott family. The first thing you notice as you walk inside is this amazing architecture. Well, this house was designed by the famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright. It was designed in 1906 and finally built in 1908. Check out those amazing original stained glass windows. You may be wondering who are the Westcotts? Well, stay tuned and keep watching to find out. Make sure you notice the rectangles. You'll see that is a constant theme as we continue to tour the house. The Westcotts were originally from Richmond, Indiana, where Father John formed the Hoosier Drill Company and also formed the Westcott Carriage Company. As you see here, there's an open floor plan, which is a characteristic of Frank Lloyd Wright's work, but yet you still have privacy. Here's a perfect example for Frank Lloyd Wright's prairie style homes. It would have a central fireplace with benches on both sides, giving the main focus of the room. Let's fast forward to 1903. The Westcott's moved to Springfield when their company merged with others forming a new company, the American Seating Machine Company. If you're liking this video, make sure you like and subscribe, help grow the channel. Who is this guy? This is The Toll Road. I'll put a link in the description below to his channel. Make sure you check out his videos as well. Here's some more amazing stained glass. As the sun shines through, you get a different aspect depending on what time of day. It's now 1909. The Westcott Carriage Company became the Westcott Motor Car Company in Richmond, Indiana. It would remain in business from 1909 to 1925. Now the year is 1912. The Westcotts are supposed to board the Titanic, but their son got sick, so they never did. Now the year is 1916. John sells his Westcott Motor Car Company to his son Burton, and Burton moves it to Springfield, Ohio. The company's slogan, the car with a longer life. Look out these windows and you start to see the last element of Frank Lloyd Wright's prairie style houses, nature and landscape. As you'll see here from the balcony, look at this beautiful panoramic view. Now you're looking at a beautiful courtyard with a pergola connecting the main house to the carriage house. Now it is the year 1923, where all the fortunes of the Westcott family turn sour. Burton's wife Orpha dies, and he steps down at American Seating Machine Company to save his failing motor car company. It is now 1925, Westcott Motor Car Company goes out of business. One year later in 1926, Burton Westcott dies. I want to thank everybody for watching this episode. Make sure you like and subscribe, help grow the channel. Until the next one.